Once you've defined a trigger interaction like tap, drag, keyboard shortcuts, or voice commands, you'll need to decide an action or a type of transition you want to apply to that trigger. I've already decided that I want to go with a drag trigger, so in that dropdown I'm going to select drag. Notice that under action, the type changes to auto animate. These two are paired well together. The destination was defined back when I dragged my wire from the first artboard to the second, but I can always define another destination by clicking on this dropdown and scrolling through some of the other artboards I have on the design canvas. In the easing area, I'll go ahead and select Snap, which works well for a carousel simulation. To take a look at my work now, I'm going to bring up the desktop preview window. Notice here when I hover over that thumbnail on the right, my cursor changes to the hand tool, letting me know there's a trigger available to me. When I press and drag to the left, the interface animates to that second, more detailed artboard. And that's a brief look at the action feature in Adobe XD.